Well, here we are. Four Fords. All the Fs. Four Fords. I don't know which one has won the poll. The poll results are in. And now I know which one I hope I've won. But we're not going to know yet. Keys have been left in the ignition of the winning car. There's only one way to find out. I'm going to have to go looking. I'm no car thief, but I can't wait to test drive. Let's have a look in the Fiesta. The 1.1L, no keys. The Sierra 4x4, no keys. The Capri has the keys. The Capri wins it, which means this car is going for a test drive. And it's so bright, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to apply 70 style shades, 199 specials, looks even better. We're ready to go, we're ready to take this car away, I mean, can I actually do it now? Can I actually, I think, it's actually happening, I don't believe it! We are about to set off. We're actually setting off. We drive past Swampy the Mark III. So here we go then, 1300 Capri. And this model is the only car I've ever driven with wing mirrors. I've always seen them, seen them on the Mark III Cortina, seen them on many, many classic cars. And they're absolutely useless. They could be, they could be good as um, backup mirrors but uh, as it happens now, not much use. So we're going to do a little three-pointer and get out on the road. So here we go. We can just see what the steering feels like. So the engine and the clutch position, the brakes are sharp. I think reverse is the same as... Boom! Here we go. Reverse is the same as the, uh, the Cortina gearbox. So I feel the gearbox the same as some of the manual Cortinas I've driven. Not my blue GXL because that's got a Type 9 gearbox in it, but I grew up on Mark II Escort vans. Same engine as this, the 1300 Kent Crossflow. Let's see how it pulls. I tell you, I tell you what, that is not as sluggish as I would have expected. So, engine actually a smooth delivery of power for what everyone's been calling the wheezy 1300 what you're going to do it's not going to be able to do anything but it is it's pulling sounds smooth doesn't sound tappy or anything now this is a 39,000 just under 40,000 mile car and looking around just before when i got in it very clean very well presented and looks all original it doesn't look like it's been messed with it just looks quite unmolested. It feels smooth. It's not wallowing. Road noise is, you know, minimum road noise there. Actually feels, I'm, you know, I've never driven a Capri before. I'm, I'm, as you know, as you, anyone who, who knows me, I'm a Mark III man, Mark III Cortina kind of guy. But, if I was going to have a second car, it was always going to be a Mark I Capri. So for me, I'm so glad that I won the show. I won the pole, or the Capri won the pole. Let's open it up a little bit. I'll tell you what, not a bad engine, that. I can actually do a little bit of sporty driving, folks. live with that let's test the brake we better test the brakes when we're up to speed might be a good idea uh, note to Pete test brakes before you set off I like the ride height I like the ride position I like the driving position some of this running gear was taken over from the, the, the Mark 2 and some of it continued into the Mark 3 Mark 2 Escort some of it continued into the Mark III Cortina. Bits and bobs I'm recognising as Cortina fitments as I look around the cabin. 
let's try some heaters folks heat on full Pete likes the heat on his feet you know that from my other videos leaves in the blower motor folks the audio guys won't like that it's a good job yeah some leaves in there but the blower motor is working what we don't want to do is get lost as well because I have absolutely no idea where I am I don't know if you can hear that at home folks but we're, we're, we're sending the power through the transmission and it's listening to us it's working wheels are turning let's see how she does through some cause a little bit of wobble on the um, steering there as I put the brakes on so some bushes perhaps loose maybe let's take a right turn here we've got a sort of 10 to 15 minute drive out in this so let's try and cover as much as we can there's a trade plate in the back that's wobbling around apologize for that so what do I think about the car I've never driven as I said I've never driven a mark 1 Capri before I do like them especially the mark 1 in fact, I've never driven any Capri before, but if I was to pick one, it'd be a Mark 1, probably a 3 litre. Although, like I said about the engine, I'm very impressed with the way the 1300 pulls. It's, it's usable. You, you, a lot of people are saying to me, you know, if you do win the pole for the Capri, you know, you're going to be sort of dragging through the gears. But no, 1300 engine gets the thumbs up from me, and it could be a good engine for a first time. Uh, uh, classic car enthusiast to get, to get started with keep insurance down especially for younger drivers 1300 so it's, it's a great a great engine the suspension I like the ride height I like the way it feels I could drive this car I could I could I could move over from Mark 3's and um, yeah I think this is a stylish car I think they advertise it as the car you always promised yourself and could this be Daytona yellow? I think that it is Daytona yellow. You definitely need these shades for it. It's that bright. The car you always promised yourself. And I can see why. I tell you what, I do like this. Now here's some little, little windies. Listen to me, baby. Talk to me, baby. Now you're talking to me, baby. That I like. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just. I wonder if there's any country votes, but don't tell Steve, the owner of the car, that Pete sees out trying to push the limits. Doing a little left there. The indicator noise, the, the tingy, tingy, tingy. You know, I like a bit of tingy, 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 and it just doesn't tingy, tingy as loud as I would like, so I'd be adjusting that. How about the radio? Oh, we've got action, folks. We've got action. We've got decent. So we're yeah, now we've got we've got action. We've got nice uh, radio action. A thumbs up from somebody. It's a get four galaxy. Just give me the thumbs up. Could this be a head turner like the Mark III Cortina? I'm sure it is. It's so bright. And it's such a stylish shape. Don't you just love the curves on the back of the Capri? After this road trip, we're going to go and have a little walk around, and I'll show you how tidy the panel work is. Now I've hit a dead end, so I'm going to do a three pointer. But there's nothing wrong with checking. The way that you can maneuver the car around postman there to the right hand side Pete putting the handbrake on what's the grip point a little bit high up so we'd adjust that down but there's no bumps squeaks or rattles the old cliche lines when you're doing a car review there's no bumps squeaks or rattles and the car feels very planted I'm not going to bore you with a uh, like I've swallowed an encyclopedia full of mark one capris and, and try and make out I know anything about the car because I don't Equivalently, we're just getting in it like a first time buyer would. Wow, that's an interesting house. Keep your eyes on the road, Pete. Keep it, keep it, keep it there. Keep it there. I think we're going into the old town now. So we're in a little bit of an old. Hey, I like this round here. Oh, oh, some speed bumps. Let's see how she performs. Hey, no problem. Now we're on one-way traffic, so I'm going to back up. Going to back up because these lanes are. We're not one-way traffic as such, but just narrow road, and I don't want to damage Steve's car. He's very kindly let me do this. A very friendly motorist there. Another old building. All the information's flooding the neurons, and Pete C is overloading on Capri. But I do want some heat, heat on my feet, please. I'm cold. It is 
one of the first cold days of the year in November by the way autumn hey the leaves have gone it must have the ram air has blown the leaves out of the blower motor now Phil our sound man won't be too disappointed Phil it's going over the bumps the suspension feels great everything feels tight um, there's no sort of like uh, void bush rattles sheesh how'd you get through this there's a big bus in the way wow whoa I've certainly picked the road Steve I've just wiped the Capri out I'm glad that we've found like an old town here to, to take the car through I think this is Runcorn the gear, che gear changes are good and solid clicking in nice doesn't feel sloppy on the gearbox brakes are okay and sharp must admit do them, I'd like them to bite a little bit better than that maybe a bleed through you don't know how old the uh, brake fluid is although we have checked the car mechanically I've gone over it it does look all there and everything seems to be in the right place um, I think that we've gone through the car say you know with all the usual safety checks before we did this test and I just still can't get used to those uh, wing mirrors like I mentioned with the wing mirrors they'd be good as backup mirrors I'd, I'd, I'd fit some door mirrors and just have them in the blind spot I know on Mark III Cortinas you, you can get a blind spot I fit these little square mirrors onto my wing mirrors there's a blind spot just around there you get it on this there's a bit more more window space here uh, lighting controls and wiper controls are in the form of push button switches straight in front of your, your uh, steering wheel there just about uh, almost knee height for wipers, two speeds of wiper and your side light and your main beam similar indicator to the Cortina and Escort here on the stalk dash crash pads all unmarked and clean no uh, cracks in that so it's been you can tell it's a 39,000 mile car and that it's been looked after and as I said we're going to inspect under the engine bay I think I might hit another dead end there's a lot of dead ends around here folks but don't worry about that and you can guarantee that Mr. Amazon driver is going to be right on your tail just when you don't want him to be now people said to me on the Manor Park Facebook group and if you've not on there get on there Manor Park are on Facebook good way of uh, swapping info they said to me give it some stick but don't tell Steve it's so 70s the only thing missing out of this cabin is a load of fluffy bubbles and coloured lights so we'll do a sort of little round the close trip for you today uh, let's see what we can do it's just the 1300's trying to open up but it it just it's begging for more begging for more cylinder space but it does its best and it is smooth, everything is smooth. I mean, I hope you guys turn that heater off. Phil's gonna, I'm gonna get in trouble for that one. But listen to that, that sounds great. Instruments, the speedo, rev cat, uh, <laughs> no rev cat on this one. Speedo to the right hand side, large face clock there, we'll see that in a minute. Uh, temperature gauge at the top, fuel at the bottom, simple layout. Then four indicators, alternator high beam, um, ignition. Let's go down here. Castle Road. Will there be a castle? Is it a dead end? Is Pete going to find yet another dead end? Indicate left. Alternator lamp. High beam lamp. Uh, I'm not sure the other one. Oh, there's an old pub down here. Yet yeah, another dead end. Well done, Pete. Nice one. It's quiet and smooth. I keep saying that, but I enjoy, I'm really enjoying this drive into the castle pub. I don't know if the cameras will be able to pick this up. What a great little location. You might be able to see it, depending on how the camera boys have set the uh, lenses up. We've sort of like done a little scenic tour. Oh, there's an old Dodge wagon there, horse wagon. Ooh, no Cortinas in any garages anywhere. Many Mark 1 Capris. I'm getting the bug. I can feel it biting. Not the 1300 perhaps, but the Mark 1 Capri bug. Am I gonna drift across to the dark side? But it's not really the dark side. It's the, it's the Cortina's brother, really. It's a stable mate, you know. 
I, I tell you what, what if, you, if you're gonna, if, if, obviously we can't do a QA and a because I'm just recording this, but if you were gonna ask me a question, I would hope that you ask me, what do you think about it? And my answer would be, I'm pleasantly surprised. I really am. It's quiet. I mean, I'm gonna be taking some notes for my Cortinas here. I'm definitely gonna be taking some notes. Brakes had sharpen up a little bit. They're there, but I don't know if we spotted a servo. I'm gonna, I don't think there's gonna be a servo on this. Just a little bit of radio. No, better not put that on because of copyright reasons, but the Rolling Stones there. Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones keeping it 70s on. That could be a late 60s song. I can't get no satisfaction. That's I think that's late 60s. The Rolling Stones smash hit there. Mick Jagger giving it some. But we can't include music on this. See, back on the speed bump road, <laughs> which isn't the best place to go for a road test. My editing crew, and what the hell are you doing down there? We've got a rear view mirror there, a little, little mini rear view mirror. The headlining's really tidy, you know, just a quick, quick glance at the headlining. I'd say there's that indicator ping, and it's, it's not pingy enough, it's just not pingy enough. Don't know about the wiper action, and I didn't check where the wash wipe is. So we'll have to make note for that in case there's a sudden flurry of dirt from a rogue tractor. But I doubt that'll happen. Downhill a little bit now. Any speed cameras around? No, we've got to keep to the speed limits, folks. This isn't me and a Cortina now. You're responsible now. Responsible now. We're going to start heading back home got to try and find the way we came in and I think I've got it I think I've got it the way we came in was it down here there we go oh, next one we're nearly there there we go lots of people flashing their lights they love the Capri yeah definitely need to sharpen them brakes up so as we're just at this junction. Oh, do I hear a creek? Yeah, a little bit of a creek there. But with a little bit, just a little touch of tweaky tweaky, this car does not need a lot of work. And I absolutely love the driving position. Yes! Yes! Oh, hey! Stevie, you're going to be happy. Whoa! Woo! Yeah, well, who'd, have, who'd have thought that out of an old 1300? Eat your hearts out. Let's get yourself in position, Pete. Don't get carried away. Things could get dangerous. I think, I know, I think I've worked out where I am. I don't think we're going to get lost. Yes, 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 yes. I've got the signs for Manor Park. Brought to you, then, by Manor Park Classics. The... Daytona Yellow, I hope it's Daytona Yellow, Mark 1 Capri. Heading back, another few minutes of fun, folks. Bit of alliteration there for you. Another chance to have a quick little chat to camera as we pull up to these red lights at this junction here, taking it into neutral. Have I missed anything? The seats are in great shape. Someone's given it a really, really good clean. This glass is spotless and scratch free, too. Another diff difficult thing to get hold of, you know, quite difficult to find good quality um, original glass and that can see the triplex logo there so that glass is scratch free again indicating the low mileage a chance to open up now we're on the expressway if only these cars if only the Gordon Bennett no that's better he's moved out of the way <laughs> the wing mirrors <laughs> sixty 65. There's no fifth gear! What am I trying to do? A little bit of a speed wobble on. She's tramping. I'm I'm going, I'm going. Gonna get back in that lane. Head over the shoulders, a car coming in at that way. Better wait till we move. We're okay. Don't worry, Steve, I'm looking after it. We're okay. I, no, it's plenty, it's it's nippy! It's nippy. Oh the wheezy capri, it's never gonna do anything. It's brilliant!
please give me some heat. I don't care about the sound man anymore. Goodbye. Hey, I know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think we need to unblock the uh, heater matrix. There's no heat to the feet. I'm freezing. Let's get back to Manor Park and have a little look under the bay. We're here with the Capri. We've just been out and had a great drive in it, but it's so clean that I've got to show you under that hood and inside the interior because at 39,400 miles, it really shows that pop the hood and have a little look. It's going to be nice. Just look at the condition of this engine bay. It is clean. It's been well stored, well looked after, dry stored somewhere. Just looking at all the seam lines and joins and things, some of the small details on it, just showing that it's just been kept in really good order. A nice original engine bay, not been messed with as it was. Might have had some paint, but it's all there. And just with a little bit of, little bit of TLC, you could get it up to a real show winner. I like it. That's the Crossflow, the 1300 overhead valve. Beautiful. Let's have a look at the interior because that's just as clean. Beautiful interior and dash, beautiful seats, carpet unmarked. I mean, I'm just looking for like really any sort of high mileage scuff marks, but there just isn't anything there with that 39,400 on the clock. Radio works perfectly, Blau Punk radio there looks like a Hamburg. And just door cards good. And you can you just you can just tell that it's reflected with that low mileage. Headlining nice, grab handles there at the back. Little Go Perry's dealer sticker in the back there as well. That's original. Glass unmarked. Looking round it, back seats just like brand new. Superb. What a car. Fantastic. Joy to drive, and it's been a great day. Things were that bright. It's a good job. I did have me 199 Cypress Source shades, 70 style suited the day. I'll be sad to leave the car to be fair. I can't take this one away with me. We believe it's going up for sale. Someone's going to get a bargain. It's been a great day. I'm afraid I've got to go. Catch you soon.